what's Daniel Brush's brand? I don't know. I never thought about it. I get up and worry about what's there to say? Do I have anything to say? Do I know enough? Can I engrave as well as the armorers in Napoleon's court? I read and I study and I worry. Is it a struggle? Yeah, sure. Central to Daniel's work is this idea of clarity, trying to go after what he describes as an ethereal delicacy. It's a quest. It's something that's unending in him. He's searching for this experience, this feeling, this atmosphere, this thing that can only be achieved by the sum of its parts. It's something that occurs with duration. It occurs as you're moving forward and progressing and chipping away at every last detail to get that feeling, that thing. And maybe it's something that can one day never actually be achieved, but it's the quest, it's the search, it's the longing. Every single thing here is done the way a jeweler did it 100 years ago. This is a saw, engraving burins, files. So I make all the tools, hardening them harder than the steel. Hammer, breaks, resharpen. Hammer, breaks, resharpen. Every cut. How else are you going to do it? If you can tell me another way to do it, I try to do it. Daniel's work, like Noguchi's, knows no bounds. It's incredibly difficult to pin down. There's a plurality to it. And I would say also, while you could be very simple and say, well, Daniel makes jewelry or Daniel makes a decorative object. It's not that. These things are carrying far more depth than that. And I think that's also something that special about Noguchi's work. He wasn't just making sculpture. He was making things that were evocative of a place, evocative of a feeling. They created atmosphere. Daniel's work has that too. I've been able to spend time with Daniel on a few different occasions. One of them actually at the Noguchi Museum. They had found in the archive a letter that a young Daniel Brush had written to Noguchi. And seeing Daniel's eyes shine as I <laughs> read this letter and kind of, I think for him it was a, a sort of full circle moment of realizing that he himself had once looked up to this master and he now is also a master in his craft and in his own right. My days are quiet. You know, I, I sweep the floor for three or four hours every single morning. I kind of ease into it. 11 o'clock, I'm working, Olivia, is working and helping and also keeping that door closed and answering the phones. And, and that's what it's like here. I'm looking and studying all the time. 